focus on me. Like what you see, like what you see. We going hard, we going hard. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Look, we doing something different today, man. We covering that little news today, man. We actually gonna be talking about Takashi Six Nine. All right, so check this out, man. I was on Twitter yesterday, and I was just scrolling through, and this popped up on my timeline. Takashi Six Nine ex girlfriend detailed the numerous beatings she suffered at his hands. She also says that he raped her. <sighs> when I seen that, I was like, when it rains, it pours, right? You feel me? So. I went into the article and uh, I'm gonna post it right here so y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, from Hot New Hip Hop. And uh, the article, this is what she says. I'm gonna read it. Takashi 6 ix baby mama detailed some pretty terrible things that went down. Takashi 6 ix is currently spending time in a jail cell as he awaits his trial next year. The most recent update in his case saw the rapper entering a guilty plea, facing some hard time in prison if convicted. His ex-girlfriend, Sarah Molina, I'm just gonna call her Sarah. His ex-girlfriend Sarah has been very critical of Takashi since his racketeering arrest, telling her social media followers that he has not been supportive of her and their child. Now she's making some heavy accusations against 6ix9ine in an interview with the Daily Beast. All right, so furthermore, let's keep reading. During their seven year romance, Sarah says that she was beaten often. He punches me out of nowhere said Sarah in regards to an incident in a ho in a Dubai hotel. So I was leaking blood. There was blood on the hotel pillowcases. He got scared. After threatening to go back home, Takashi demanded to know if she had been sleeping with Shadi, his manager at the time. He started beating me for two hours straight, said Sarah, before remembering the vicious look in his eyes. After she started screaming, Sarah says Takashi buried a pillow into her face, choking her and saying that he was going to make an example out of her. Once he calmed down, they went to sleep. Sarah told the Daily Beast that he forced her to have sex with him when he, when he woke up. Her face was swollen from the beating. This is just one incident that Sarah detailed in her exclusive sit down with the publication. Obviously, these are serious allegations. Sarah provided photos of herself after the beating, which can be seen, you know what I'm saying? So, I just want to talk about this for a minute, man. We all know, um, if y'all don't know, Takashi 6 9 he, he locked up. You know, he was one of the biggest trolls last year. Had a lot of hit records last year. Blew up really fast. Uh, was doing the trolling thing really heavy. Um, got locked up for racketeering and all this type of stuff with, you know, him and Treyway and all that type of stuff. So, Takashi 6 9 locked up right now, and he taking a plea deal. Like, he's saying he did pay to get... Uh, Chief keeps shot at. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's reportedly what he's saying in the courtroom, what he did say. Now, all of a sudden, now your baby mama come out and saying that you beat her and you raped her? Bro, like, these are some serious allegations, bro. I don't know if, you know, the, the police or anything is going to, you know, pick up the case and, and, and run with it, or did she even file, you know, charges on them? But I don't know, but maybe she just upset at the moment because of the situation and how Sakashi and his actions kind of affected her and her you know her child you get what i'm saying like i don't understand like why would she come out with it now you know what i'm saying it's crazy because if these allegations are true Sakashi need to be punished for his actions you get what i'm saying if these are in, in, indeed true they need to take legal action on him, not just for what he was doing with Treyway, but also for what he was doing with his baby mama. A lot of stuff that happens when it comes to men and, and violence is stemmed from a woman, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, like when he was beating her, allegedly, he was like, are you having sex with my, my manager, Shadi? He, he tripping, you know what I'm saying? If you having sex with him, I'm, I'm, I'm spazzing out. Like, I can't. A lot of men can't take the fact that they woman might walk out and cheat. And at the end of the day, you don't own her. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's your girl, that's your baby mama, but at the end of the day, that's her body. 
even if y'all married, you don't necessarily, you don't own nobody. Even if y'all married together, that's her body. She gets to do whatever she wants to. Of course, there's certain things and guidelines that she should live by, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, everybody is their own person. If you decide to go out there and slang your vagina to somebody, or if you decide to go out there and slang your penis to somebody, you just know it's going to be some, some, some ramifications in your relationship in regards to she might leave you, whatever the case may be. But it never should go to I'm um, beating you and beating you bloody. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you should never get physical. But at the same time, everybody don't live by the same code, man. That's just real life. Like, everybody don't have the same self-control. Everybody should have the same self-control as far as not putting your hands on people. But we see it every day. People getting shot every day. People getting beat every day. People getting molested every day because these people do not have self-control over themselves to tell themselves no. So, Takashi 6 9 is in a tough situation right now. You know what I'm saying? He's he facing a lot of hard time. On top of that, you got this coming over your head. Like, what if she decide to, to press charges with you? What if she decide to go further with this? Now you got that on top of your head, on top of all of the other stuff you got going on. Treyway, you know what I'm saying? You snitching, you telling people what's going on. It's a lot going on right now in this, in this world. And it's crazy because he blew up real fast but the fall was just as fast, even faster. You get what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Takashi 6 9s baby mama said that this dude beat her and also raped her. And this is only just one instance, allegedly. I don't know, but like I said, if he did do anything like this, he should be definitely punished to the fullest extent of the law just because, bro, that's just not how we move, bro. If she go out here and she fuck your manager, just be like, I can't fuck with you no more. I'm going to take care of my kid. I ain't, I ain't got no time for you, though. You know what I'm saying? You just trash. You get what I'm saying? You ain't got to put your hands on nobody. And that's for anybody out there. If you're in a relationship, they do something you don't like, don't put your hands on nobody. Unless you're, gonna, unless you're willing to face the, the, the consequences. Either you're going to get killed. Either you're going to go to jail. You're going to mess your whole life up. Whatever. Unless you're willing to go through that, that's on you. For me and my household, you do some fucked up shit, I'm out. Peace. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for you. I got... Bigger and better things to do. You can sit over here and play these games all you want to. You can have sex with my manager all you want to. If my manager out the picture, you out the picture. I'm going to go get this money. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. It's real crazy, man. And um, you already know what you got to do, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. It's your boy Laid Back. Self-love and positivity. It's crazy out here for Takashi 6 9 man. Y'all said y'all wanted me to talk, talk on some of these topics, so that's what I'm doing. It's your boy Laid Back, man. Self-love and positivity. Fire Squad. I love y'all. Until next time. Hey, bye.